This week on The Hot Mess, we're going to be talking about some upcoming theatrical releases and the hot mess going on in Hollywood, because apparently films don't think that the fans appreciate what they're about to put out. Let's go ahead and start off by looking at The Watchmen, coming to theaters next week. Now, Watchmen, despite being one of the most celebrated graphic novels of all time, and in Time Magazine's top 50 novels of the 20th century, apparently the ending with the giant squid didn't work well on film, so they had to rewrite the ending. And then you have G.I. Joe that has a 25, 30 year history on comics and television, had to recreate the character of Destro because him and his mask didn't translate well into film. And then you have Akira Toriyama, who is the creator of Dragon Ball, and after 35 years of comics and cartoons, is saying that, well, despite everything that everybody liked, on those series that the movie has nothing to do with the manga or the ca cartoon series. So you have to kind of think of this as an alternate reality Dragon Ball to be able to make it fun. And then you have this hot mess between Marvel Studios and Iron Man 2. Now last week we talked about how Emily Blunt had to pull out of being the character of the Black Widow due to a scheduling conflict with another film project that Jon Favreau won Scarlett Johansson and Eliza Dushku was saying, ooh, 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 make me a MySpace page and hire me as the Black Widow. John Favreau has also said that Marvel Studios might have been a little bit too preemptive in announcing the release date for May 2010 for Iron Man 2, especially since him and Robert Downey Jr. are still writing the script. And uh, this made big headlines when Don Cheadle replaced Terrence Howard playing Rhodey. Well, apparently Entertainment Weekly is now saying that director John Favreau thought that Terrence Howard was difficult to work with on set, and that's why he was being replaced. And then there's Mickey Rourke. I could not go a week here on The Hot Mess without mentioning Mickey Rourke. Of course, over a month ago, Mickey Rourke said he was going to be wrestling at WrestleMania 25. His publicist said, no, he wasn't. Then he said, yes, I, yes, I am. And then he went out on Larry King Live and said, no, I'm absolutely not going to be wrestling at WrestleMania 25. He respects wrestlers and what they do too much to be able to do that. Well, fitting a pattern, he said that he was going to be playing a role in Iron Man 2 and then later came out and said, well, no, I'm not. And now it's in negotiations. But... This makes me think a little bit. Last Saturday at the Screen Actors Guild Awards, Mickey Rourke said that people should forgive the sins of this man, Eric Roberts, and cast him on more roles. Now, part of me wants to wonder, is this a ploy to try to get his friend work, or is it just because he's going to be attached to Sylvester Stallone's movie The Expendables, which might have a film shoot that might overlap with Iron Man 2, or might this be Eric Roberts' opportunity to shine and was his subtle nod to say, hey, give Eric Roberts some more work? But that's not all in entertainment because we have the Screen Actors Guild, Guild, which is threatening to go on strike. Now, these letters, the AMPTP, stand for the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. This is the body that all the major guilds, guilds in entertainment negotiate with for money. This is who pays them. The Screen Actors Guild is saying that they want some more concessions and they disagree with AMPTP's time schedule, saying that AMPTP will cause constant negotiating, negotiating cycles and causing them to cut short their planned 2012 date for the time that the WGA, the Writers, Guild of, the Writers Guild of America, the Directors Guild of America, and the American Federation of TV and Radio Artists, the other acting guild in America, um, would negotiate and create continued labor unrest. They voted on this by a majority of 73%, which you look at our own national election, you can't get 73% of people to vote on many things. They're saying they want some more nego more money and a different negotiating schedule than the other guilds. Why? Because they're special. AMPTP is saying that SAG wants too much, and despite giving them more economic concessions than they gave any other union, especially in this economy, all they want them to do is just to change the date of ne their negotiation. Now, what does this mean for you? Because who's going to be the hot mess? It's going to be me and it's going to be you. Because if the Screen Actors Guild goes on strike, that means that more movies and more film projects are going to be delayed because people couldn't get their act together because it's all about the money. So these two need to come to a table and meet to negotiate over this or you and I are going to be in a lot of trouble come about six months from now. But that's not it, folks. A very little bit of a special, because right here on The Hot Mess, we have a little bit of Fred Watch. That's right, Fred. YouTube's very own Fred has made several recent television appearances, otherwise known in his real life as Lucas Kravikshank has appeared recently on Tyra Banks, iCarly, and in July will be appearing on the Disney Channel's Sweet Life on Deck. This kid is getting around, but even better, he's getting around because he's known as Fred from YouTube. That's pretty awesome. Hey, everybody, my name has been Phil Stamper right here on The Hot Mess. Leave comments some questions below. Let me know some things that you think I could do to maybe better better doing the hot mess. Tell me what you think about the Oscars and the picks. 
and let me know who you think should have won some of the different awards, or is there other pieces of entertainment news that you think I should be covering right now? Once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And for The Hot Mess, my name has been Phil Stamper.